Hello, everybody. Welcome back, my friends, uh, to the show that never ends. It did end uh, last week when we had the wonderful Bobby Davro. Do you know, I was away. I'll tell you all about it in a minute. But I got on my laptop and had a look. I thought it was me. I thought, how have they got me? And made me look uh, really old and decrepit and then made me unfunny as well. Turned out it was Bobby. Well done for stepping in, Bob, and glad to see you're back uh, on the mend. I see you're in the newspapers today with another one of our friends, Brian Connolly, a good little lad, Brian. He was a, he's a lovely bloke, and he speaks like that, and he's got a big, deep voice. He's sort of lovely bloke. He's lovely. We're all getting on a bit now, but we're still just as funny. So that's good. We'll all have to go out and have a, have a drink one night. And Bobby, it, it is good to see you back on the mend. And of course, you just spent a couple of days, well, a day with me, uh, for my divorce party uh, that was thrown together for me. The ex-wife's having her own divorce party, and I, so I thought, I'll have one as well. One of my mates, Shep, and his wife, Vanessa, are coming to both. They're going to both. Talk about turncoats. He said, don't worry, I'll be a spy. Well, there you go. I think it's inevitable that some people do take sides, don't they, during a, a divorce. But let's, uh, let's think about what we're going to be speaking about today on here. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, We'll talk about her again, uh, some more talking about her and what's going on with all these idiots that believe they've got it all sussed. And then we're going to be talking about potholes on the M25 and also the fact that Aaron Taylor Johnson is going to be the James, new James Bond. Who the f Who is this man? I've never heard of him. Do you know, James Bond? No, I don't think he's a James Bond at all. I think it should be Lenny Henry would play James Bond. He'd be magic, wouldn't he? And then he, then he can play Guy Gibson as well. And, and the dog will be a, a black and white Dalmatian, mixed race dog. That will keep everyone happy and all the wokes smiling. So where was I uh, last week? I was in Milan and I went to see this lot. PFM. Now, for all you Italian people that uh, are watching this, you know that PFM st stands for Premiata Forneri and Marconi. They're a prog rock band that I never got to see for 50 years. 1973, they started kicking ass. Oh, and it was just great. And I went to see them. And what a lovely place Milan is. And I also, while I was there, we got taken round uh, by um, a guide. Uh, and he showed us, uh, oh, what a great place it is. And, and I only saw The Last Supper, that's all. It's not a painting, The Last Supper. It is painted on a wall in a chapel, like a big whitewashed wall the size of a, I don't know, a cinema screen, a bit smaller maybe. And, uh, and there's this painting on the wall and you stand there and look at it. It's really bizarre. And so I said to the man, are these Jesus' disciples? He said, yes. I said, and from the Middle East? Yes, Jerusalem, yeah. How come their name Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Simon and Peter? He didn't have an answer for that. He just looked at me as if I was a twit. And I probably am a twit. I know that's a bit of a bad swear word uh, here. But uh, this is uh, at PFM at, at their best. They, were, they had a bit of a hit with Celebration. Uh, we might play our way out with that later at the end of this if you go over to Ustream and have a little look. But here's their finale and everybody's standing up. It's quite good isn't it really? And for you guys in the editing, that's clip number two to show first and clip number one to show at the end. That's not confusing enough, is it? Anyway, so let's get to the crux of the matter. Breaking news. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has been pictured on the moon. Yes, she's on the moon with Sheargar. Sheargar and Lord Lucan. She's, uh, she's riding side saddle on Sheargar with Lord Lucan bringing up the rear, if you pardon the expression. And so that's put paid to all these conspiracy theorists that said that she's either snuffed it or they've been divorced or she's run off or she's changed into a man and, you know, had a transvestment. So she is, in fact, on the moon and won't be carrying out any duties soon. She's waiting for Elon Musk uh, to get a, a rocket that's not going to blow up or, or land when one of the legs fall off so she can get back and carry out her raw duties before we get to... Prince Harry doing a suffering most with us. So what was she doing? She was pictured out and about, right? With William, with William, with the old man. Yeah. And I thought in the papers, it said, well, that don't look like her. I'm not sure if it did look like her. I'm looking over beyond the camera at Abby. Abby is our new person. And I met her mum and dad the other day as well outside my house. They come to spy on me to see what type of boss I am. I'm sure of it. So hello. Yeah. So uh, where was she? In a farm shop at Windsor? I didn't think it looked like her. At first, I thought maybe there must be a point to this, but this is all just bollocks put about by someone that can't print enough news in the paper. Some crazy bastards are saying it's not her. Well, I was one of them, I have to say. 
Uh, but then on closer look, it is her, isn't it? I mean, what's going on? Leave her alone. What if she'd be back at Easter? She said she'd be back at Easter. People are absolutely fucking bonkers. Right, I'm talking about absolutely bonkers. Harry and Meghan. Hmm. Now, there's reports that they've been removed from the official website. Yeah. Oh, dear. What does that mean? Who does that then? Who sits there and says, you know, right, uh, Your Majesty or your, your Majesty, I'm taking your boy off the website. You, they don't think you, well, well, you know, he's been a bad boy, so we're going to take away his website coverage. Okay, now, we've also taken his car keys away and switched his computer off and the internet so he can't do anything. He's just being daft. Do you know what made me, I, you know, I did think about that, you know, when, uh, when the poor prince, uh, when the king, I had to have his prostate checked. I wouldn't want to be the doctor, would you? Uh, your Majesty. Yes. Um, I've got to stick my finger up your bottom. Well, as long as it's one of your fingers and not mine, I don't mind. <laughs> Dear, right. well, we hope he gets well. Right, now, before we go over to you, stream and have a little look, let, let's finish off talking about Harry uh, and Meghan. I quite like Harry. I've made no uh, secret of that, that I... I, I just think he's on a roller coaster ride. And I think all these pictures that people are putting on of Prince Harry next to that other bloke, what's, I don't know his name now, some polo player that might give his mum the good news, that's what they were saying, and that he's the son of. No, I think he's too much like his father. And of course, all those uh, pictures are photoshopped, aren't they? This is the royal thing, photoshopped now. What fucking difference does it make? So really, she's only got two children. She invented one by AI and had that stuck in the thing. Fucking ridiculous. Harry and Markle Meghan. What's going on with Markle Meghan? Right, they've, they've got a new brand. Did you know that, Abby? They've got a brand new brand. And they announced it on the day of Diana's Legacy Awards ceremony. I don't think that's really a good look. I think, I, I'm not sure. I, I won't say anything bad about them. Well, I will, I will, yeah. I think she's a bit, mani 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 I think she sort of gets a bit controlling, don't she, eh, really? And she's driving the ginger one bonkers. I think Prince Harry would make a good James Bond, as I have never, ever heard of Aaron Taylor Johnson. I've no idea who he is. I suppose we should be grateful, though, that he's white and heterosexual male, yeah, and not a trans female dwarf to please the woke crowd who won't go to watch the fucking thing anyway. So he's officially been offered the role and is due to sign a contract next week. Do you know what I would put in my contract if I was going to play James Bond? That I'd have to shag three women per hour on that thing because we don't want any of this. We want sexism and violence. That's what we want. And dirty jokes and women's bottoms on show. Excellent. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, if you've enjoyed me ranting here, press subscribe. Go to our website, have a, have a little look. And uh, if you saw Red Nose Week this week and saw what me and Miles Crawford said about it on Jim and Her on Ustream, you will know that they're not great fans uh, of that. Miles Crawford, here he is. He's going to do a walk soon. And here's a little link that you might want to give him some money for. He's had a heart attack and he's walking for this little village in Africa that you think Red Nose Day would look after. No, they're not. So he's taken it upon himself. He's come from Jamaica. It's a Jamaican charity that's looking after their ancestors in Africa. And why not? It's pinpointed. We're not just sending thousands of pounds out for people to buy AK-47s. No. So Red Nose Day, you can go and do one. Thank you. Come over to Ustream with me. Go to Ustream.com. Sign up and get your seven-day free trial now. All right? Hello, everybody. Davidson here. And I'm here to tell you of an exciting, wonderful thing. You can have a seven-day free trial to get all of the Ustream package, if you pardon the expression. Yes, you can grab my package for seven days for no money and then $3.99 plus VAT uh, per month there on afterwards. So go to Ustream.com, sign up and get your free seven-day trial. You will love it. Your nickels will dry out later. <laughs>